Right, everyone, welcome back to here. Right, yep, yeah, just a uh, normal Friday night stream, slightly later than normal. To be honest, I fucking fell asleep and I uh, only got up till quarter to nine. <clears throat> and then by the time I stopped fucking around, you know, getting everything done, I know it'd be late, so yeah. All right, Liam, All right, yeah. I feel like I forgot to do something, but. Um, I thought because I was rushing around, you know what I mean? Right, Rich. I caught most of your stream earlier, Liam. Um, <coughs> I was sort of, you know, watching a bit. I was doing stuff, basically. You know what I do on a Friday. Right now. Yeah, like the stream, everyone, please. So, yeah. No topic, never do on here, do we really? Right, Tim. So, yeah, wait until some more people come in and we'll have a chat. Hopefully, everyone should still get in. I always worry about doing the, um, you do the fucking notification thing on the community tab to say that you're going to be late, and then that takes up all the notifications for the actual stream. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. All right, Bristol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm not fully awake yet. Then I think I reckon that's what it is. All right, I'm gonna shut that down. I'll go on to the other thing. I'll wake up in a minute once I got my own coffee down. Yeah, I've literally just woke up. All right, slingshot. All right, I'll go on to the other mode. I can read it easier then and all that shit. All right, so what is it? Life control room. <coughs> <clears throat> Still got that acid reflux ever so slightly. It actually went, and then I bought. I um, due to my own fucking um, pissing around, I bought, made it come back. All right, Rich. Yeah, thought I'd put it on display for today. <coughs> All right, I right, man. All right, Jumbo Sabo. Right. That should be it. Pop up chat. Yeah. I'd sort of lost my motivation for doing stuff in the shed, but doing that has made me um <laughs> want to start making things again. Did I say hello Tim hello Tim will <laughs> Zed, you right? So, yeah, I'll tell you what, Slingshot, that'll probably be next then. Um, slingshot tutorial. Um, yeah, I reckon that'll be next. I nearly did it the same day I made the Warhammer, because I, I did the Warhammer so quickly. <coughs> I was finished that day about one o'clock. No, I think it was earlier than that. I think it was like half twelve. And then I had my lunch. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I might as well start the same shot. But then what, by the time I stopped messing around, it was like 2 o'clock. And then I thought, well, if i got to stop at half 5, I might as well just stop now. <coughs> now said, enjoyed the Warhammer video, Mike. And so did Len. I'm glad you, I'm glad you liked that. I quite enjoyed making that. And I, I, I'll admit, I did think that was quite a good video. I didn't know whether to do a... Um, like a talking one. Sometimes I just can't be bothered. You, know, you don't need to. Because I, I didn't... But what it is, is, when I make stuff, sometimes if I have to talk all the way through doing it, it takes ages. If you can just put the camera on, do it, and you don't have to talk through it, while you're making it, it's a lot quicker. It makes making things slightly a bit more enjoyable. It does look good, don't it? I'll show you it in a minute. I'll get it over and show you. Um, actually, I'll start reading out the comments. Um, is it Len said he enjoyed the Warhammer. Nell said she enjoyed the Warhammer. And Will said, the silver warhammer looks great, badass. I agree with you. I think it looks really nice, actually. I want to make myself one now. Yeah, I know I've got my one. But I prefer that one. <laughs> You've seen it anyway, haven't you? But, um, yeah. I think that's come out really nice. I think I probably will make myself 
one exactly the same as that. Yeah, perfect for zombies, isn't it? Iron Man. Iron Man said perfect for zombies. Night, dude. All right. Yeah, so hello, everyone. Tim. Um, if I've missed anyone. Yeah. Just talk about whatever you want. You know, within reason. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really happy with how that looks, actually, though. Looks great, doesn't it? Even if I do say so myself. But it does, don't it? Look, they actually genuinely look really fucking nice, I think. I thought the black one looked good, but this doesn't look quite as uh, good now. <laughs> <coughs> Does the same job. Uh, nice one, now. I'll have to do that. Uh, not now, Len, sorry. Len has said um, needs weapon collector stamp in it. I'll do that. Funny thing is, I've got out of the habit of doing that. What would it be? WC20? No, 19. Not fucking 2020 yet. WC19. Yeah, it's been so long since I've put any fucking stamps on things, I forgot about it. Sengshot Warrior said the chrome is very Liam style. Will said, sorry if I missed you mention it, but where did you get the pipe? It's a steel, mild steel pipe, and it was from eBay, and it was um, 28 millimeter diameter. With a two millimeter wall, and that you have to do a slight little bit of filing on the um, shaft of the hammer, will and it'll fit in perfectly. Not sure, Iron Man. Iron Man said, What's the weight? I could find out. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll write that down and I'll tell you the weight of it tomorrow. Well, I've got some scales, but it'll take a while, you know, I've got to run ourselves and get them otherwise. It's slightly heavier than mine, because my one has actually got an aluminium handle. Because um, my one, I actually made from an old. Uh, I had a <coughs> a baton that had a, a a knife in it, basically. And because that was illegal, I cut the handle off. Cut, got rid of. The, well, I kept the blade, so I could still use the blade for something. It's all been cut up, basically, and the, the truncheon part of it. But used to make the Warhammer, so that at least it still came to some kind of use. Bristol's a nice Warhammer. I will have to get. I'll have to get one. Well, I am up for making them, Bristol. If you want, <coughs> yeah. If you message me, or you know, mess, talk to me again, and I'll um, I should be able to sort some out for people. Weapons after I've got a very sore neck for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I slept awkwardly. You might have. Did I say I fell asleep before this? Now, so I bet Liam can't wait to get it now. Yeah, I bet. He, he, is, he is very happy with it. I'll tell you what, you will like it. Well, I know you like it anyway, Liam, but when you see that in person, I'll tell you what, it's bloody lovely. <coughs> Slingshot said, I think the Warhammer you've got now is more you, Mike. Yeah, I know what you mean. Dumble Sabu said, it's hard to choose black or the silver. I'm guessing I'll have to take my pick. <coughs> <coughs> well, my pistol said, Mike, is it 16? Oh, actually, yeah, saying that, yeah, oh, cool, yeah, all right, yes, right, Bristol, yes. Right, that hammerhead on its own is a 22 ounce hammer. You might be able to work it out. So, a 22 ounce hammer, and how much do you reckon a 40 centimeter steel pole would weigh? If you can do that, you might be able to um, <coughs> work out the weight. But it's heavier than 22 ounces anyway. What's 22 ounces in something that um, <coughs> other people might know the um, weights? Someone have a look. I must admit, Jumble Sour Booth, that was a joke about the black and the silver. That went over my head. <laughs> I suspected it might have been a joke. I have just woke up though. I've got slight fucking acid reflux. If you keep wondering why I keep coughing, <coughs> making me have a sore throat. Ehon, do you right, mate? No, I did not get a chance to catch it that day. 
that day when you did that stream, um, <clears throat> I actually went to bed that day. Not like, went to bed early that day because I think when you did that. So what time did you do that stream? That must have been. I'm sure that was eleven o'clock at night. Here, so that must have been like four in the morning for you, wasn't it? Dumbo Boo said yes, it was. It was a poor attempt at humour. <laughs> Sailor said, "Are Umrex HDR50 pistols available um, in the UK?" I don't know. Is that the um, home defence one, whatever it is? Yeah, I don't know. I think it is, but it has to be under the. If it, I suppose if it's a pistol, it would have to be under five, you know, six foot pound, wouldn't it? Still. Things what said because when I think of Mike, I think of colours dark brown and black. When I think of Liam, I think chrome and silver. <coughs> oh, E Honda said nine pm. Oh, that's weird. I don't know then, E Honda. Sorry, I, I did miss it. Unless I went to bed early that day. I don't know. Unless what I saw was I don't know. For some reason, I thought you did one like eleven o'clock here. That'd be like four o'clock in the morning where you are. So I don't know. I don't know what that. Why I think that. Richard said you can get online calculators. You enter dimension of a steel pipe and calculate the weight. Come on, someone do that for us then. You don't have to do it, Rich, because I know you're on a tablet. Oh, sorry. Yeah, of course. Uh, sorry, Liam. I'm fucking half asleep here. Yes, it is. Well, that is right then. That is why. Oh, four in the morning. I don't know then. All right, peeps. E Honda, right now it is 9.30 p.m. Oh, right, man, said, so do you like those really satisfying poos you get in time? So, yes, I do. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> what about the opposite of that, though? Don't you just hate the opposite of that? Just taking some fucking antacid fucking um, things. <coughs> well, these ones are um, peppermint antacid. Pete said, are you chewing tablets again? <laughs> Which does say on it, you can chew them. Well, see that polo micro power treatment. Now it's for um, yeah, peppermint antacid. Dumbo Sabu said, um, don't get us on the poos. I remember Slingshot or a stream from the other day. I think I missed that one. Or was that a different one? I rewatched some of your stream the other day, though, Slingshot. Richard said, um, Saw some fake python skins, snake tape on eBay. I'm thinking of um, back in the limbs for that flat though. That what's that video as well today? Rich, that looked good. E Honda said, "Lol, that would be two a.m. for you if you were to join the chat." I got that late. I am, I am quite often awake. Then I got this on the fucking um, top chat. Hang on. I am quite often on then <laughs> awake. Then sorry, but that is about when I go to bed. <laughs> but if I'm ever up that late, you know, and, and fully awake, they yeah, keep sending me the links, though. I'm assuming those links are to join the chat, aren't they? I still have to set up that thing, though. Things what said, I know one thing, a criminal with a kitchen knife wouldn't stand the chance against Mike Swarham. Yeah, I agree with you there. Um, saying so, definitely. You imagine. Saying so, right, photo Len, we have only 7.5 jewels over here. What was Len saying? Oh, I missed that. He says, so I think if you say it's a paintball gun, yeah, that's about the HDR or whatever. Pete said, it's the shit when you feel like crapping out a razor blade. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> You're a glutton for punishment, are you, Pete? <laughs> we also do be able to throw a Warhammer like a kind of. Oh, you probably could. That's got a lot of weight in it, though. Um,. Yeah, you know, I think you could. And I'll tell you what, with that fucking spike on it, it'd probably be quite easy to stick as well if you hit. The problem is, the problem with the, the axe, even if it's hitting properly, it's not um, going in properly. Like, it doesn't always stick. Sorry. 
William the Gun Nut. Hello, mate, by the way. Sorry I didn't say hello. I just noticed you've been on a while and I never said hello. Yeah, I reckon you could, Will. Jumbo Sabo said, no, Mike, you're on it, mate. Got on the subject of toilet habits. Now got on the tablets. Oh, I vaguely remember that now. Yes, that was, yeah. <coughs> I think since it's done a couple since then. Slingshot said, I um, I wasn't feeling allergy migraine made me. I'm lightheaded. I was in that chat. I saw you. I, I've watched some of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> now it's laughing. And, yeah, well, who's blocked the bog this week? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Bloody, uh, did I tell you lot recently? I had to. Um, I noticed one of our drain holes was completely fucking. Uh, there's a drain cover and it's got some holes in it because it creates a puddle so the um the water goes down and i noticed hang on i noticed that was completely full with water and it wasn't going down and i lifted off the fucking thing and that whole thing was completely covered completely full of shit and bog roll in fact when i lifted the lid up it actually come up a bit but luckily i got some um you know um fucking rods and it went down actually almost instantly <coughs> William said um, he's a 2-2 two -two. he's 2-2 two -two, 10 joule 130 mps air gun ideal for pigeon hunting well sadly I'm not 100 sure purely because I don't know what 10 joule is in foot pounds over here I reckon for Pigeon hunting and that, you want 12 foot pounds. But I think 10 joules is about 10 foot pounds. So you probably could. Zed said, just don't have to gather on stuff for acid. I don't know what liquidized <laughs> crap tastes like. <laughs> but I'll be willing, willing to say it's similar to Gaviscon. Len said, Mike, did you say on the stream last week those baton torches are illegal? I got one from the bed. No, they're, they're all right. But I just wouldn't recommend carrying one then. They are legal. They're legal to own. And they are probably legal to carry. But the only problem is if you carry it and someone sees it, they might think it's a baton rather than a torch. You know what I mean? Don't know, but they are legal to carry. It's just um, sometimes you're better off with a torch that looks like a torch and not looks like a baton. Swingshot said you could throw it with two hands. Yes, yeah, I think that would work. I think they, it's quite heavy as well. E Honda say, yeah, two two long rifle is better. Yeah, it would be for pigeon hunting, but but a, a two two air rifle, twelve foot pounds. That they will, you know, that's they capped it at that limit because it will. You can use them for rabbits, squirrels, pigeons, and all that. Iron Man said, Mike, I have a sixty five litre bag, the exact same gear, uh, best bag as you, but black attached to it, a bit bulky, but I've got all my gear. I need to civilise the world after shit hit the fan. Just need night vision. Yeah. It's worth having the old bag out bags, isn't it, Iron Man? We also like we were wearing a gas mark. I wasn't. Ah, but I'll tell you what. You know, actually, I just remembered when it was. Because I remember coming in and saying to someone, it was when I had a fucking cold as well. I actually said to someone, thank fuck I've got a cold and my nose is completely blocked because I couldn't, I didn't actually smell it once. Yeah. Richard said, I use poles um, used to sweep the chimney to unblock the outside drain cover. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some proper, I can't remember what they're called, drain rods, whatever the fuck they're called. I'm not going to what they call them now. Um, weapons, I said, I used, I could see 200 metres with the 2D LED mag light last night. Yeah, that's good. I meant to, I meant to um, comment on your video about that to say, um, because the problem is, it's always the fucking when you do it on video, it doesn't look as good, does it? In the naked eye, you can see fucking you know long, long way. Um, yeah. Iron Man Spartans, it's legal to stop me because I'm the daddy. And now said you the daddy, Iron Man. Tactical pirate, right, mate? He just sneaks in and steals W93s, WS 93s. <laughs> New Warhammer. Yeah, caught again, mate. Yeah, I've had to use those metal drain rods before. Oh, we hunted two to about hundred foot pound. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could do a lot more with um, that, couldn't you? 
<coughs> but I just meant over here, you know what I mean, in Honda. If you had a choice, two two long rifle hunt it better than an air rifle. But you know, the best thing over here, no license, you know, because you know we can get two two long rifle and all that, but it's a bit more involved. Whereas an air rifle, you don't need no no um no license at all. Um double cell boosted, I think it's down to the copper. I own three baton torches, but I wouldn't carry them as our torches designed for self defense weapons. By the way, I just bought a leather coin blackjack patch. Yeah, nice, yeah. I've been looking at them rigs. Yeah, I pretty much 100% agree with you there, rigs. You know, you it's better off having a torch that looks like a torch, isn't it? as you say. Pete said, have you made your bow yet? No. I ain't got a fucking wood yet. <laughs> Weapons obviously, yeah, same with the night vision. Much clearer to the eye than the camera. Dimbo said, don't use cheap drain. Your mine broke in the drain. Cost 120 quid to get that sorted out. Yeah, fuck me. That would be a pain in the ass, wouldn't it? Breaking your drain rods in the fucking drain. And then you would have to call someone out. No, luckily these ones seem pretty good. Slingshot says, you can cut off the head of a titanium golf club driver and use it as a self defense cane. Fin shafted, light but tough. Yeah, that's quite a good idea there. Slingshot, I like that. <coughs> um, Iron Man said, might buy some camo shower curtains for 10. I think I will. I've been looking into that. I'm very not like properly looking into it, but um, yeah, I think that'd be the way to go, wouldn't it? I'll have a look, see what's cheaper the shower curtains or just the tarp. But either way, I'm going to make the tarp or the, or the shower curtains into an actual tent. You know, so it'll still be light, but it won't be open. But well, you could probably, I bet you could do it easy enough anyway, if you're big enough fucking, you've only got to fucking put the fucking, yeah, actually I've just thought of a way. So you could have a tarp as a tent and um, still be at use as a tarp. Jimmy Don, he's saying hello to Slingshot, but hello mate. Slingshot says, slapped it on a um, tree branch, didn't bend or break and put an indentation in the wood. That does sound quite good then. We all said the weapons and stuff. You ever looked at an aeroplane with your FLIR camera? Tactical Pirate said, had a chav jump out at me tonight when I was walking along the coast. <laughs> he got more of a fright when I stroked him. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What did he jump out at you for? To, like, do something? Or, or you don't know? You just stroked him and that's the end of it. Mick said he's getting addressed as a vampire for Halloween. How about you? Lot? I don't know. I ain't thought about that yet. I'll probably think of all that kind of stuff about two days before. What actual day is Halloween? Like, is it a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday? Don't say the fucking 31st. <laughs> Weapons and Stuff said, yeah, there's videos on it on YouTube. You can see them about a mile, depending on the size. That's oh, so a Thursday, is it? Thursday, oh, Brexit day, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, we're all, we're going to have to do joint Halloween and Brexit fucking um, videos, aren't we? <laughs> Nub said she's going to herself. But you've got realistic fangs. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably wait. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. Yeah, but Zombot will probably be in here for, for that day. Yeah, ain't either. <laughs> yeah, he'd make quite a good guy, Fox, as well, wouldn't he, I think. I'm not burning him, though. Someone suggested me burning him. I fucking hope burning him. I don't know if I can, I can test my weapons on. Tactical says, showing off, but I wasn't taking chances. Um, only second time you did anger. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That have an instant strobe, or do you have to like press something twice? So the golf club, the golf club shaft wouldn't appear to be a weapon. Yeah, it all depends. It all depends. Um, I don't think it would. I think you're right. Um, you, you know, you just have to be careful. But I think no, I think that'd be good. Rocket, right, mate? I might as well get a tarp with some power cord, twenty-four hour rations, and a lighter. 
and put it in a plastic use paint and bury it in your bug out location saves you carrying it with you yeah good point thing is i don't know where I, i've got no solid plan where i would bug out and i think when i bugged out old see because the thing is bugging out again with the so many variations you know you might be constantly on the move but i know what you mean i man i think i'd be i think i'd be good anyway but if you've got a solid bug out bug out place yeah definitely worth hiding some stuff there Rich said you could dress in a suit and have a mannequin rolled up in a carpet with blood stain and stick, feet sticking out dressed up as a killer that's quite good actually yeah i could freshly freshly shave my head and maybe have a red tie on i could be a fucking hit man yeah pumpkin slash definitely if i get some Double side booze. I'm going to go to Halloween party or something dead and buried. Like a clean Brexit. Yeah, clean break Brexit and democracy. That's it. Tactical said, two presses, but brightest torch I've got. Cheap T6 thing, but brighter than anything else I've got. Fits on the belt. You know, I'm, I probably know exactly what torch that is, Tactical. But I can't think off the top of my head. Then said, um, what's that under the Warhammer on the wall behind you? That is a oh over there. Uh, that is a nice little dagger. Magnum dagger. There. One of my favourite knives. You've just reminded me of something. Um I was listening to Radio 4 earlier listening to a program called You and Yours, where they was talking about Wish.com, selling knives to children, right? Uh, right, about kids buying knives on Wish.com. But really, it's, it's, it's parents not monitoring their children online is the issue. Um, so, um, this kid's got his own debit card and he buys shit off wish.com. He's 13, right? And they found out he'd bought one of those credit card knives, you know, the ones that fold out and they go mental about it, saying wish should be shut down and all that. And then the policeman said, um, only kitchen knives and workman's knives are legal all other knives including throwing knives and lock knives are for combat and his words he said are uh, they're illegal to hold whatever the fuck that means yeah and then she was going yeah fuck what the fuck is wrong with people the thing is people listen to that shit and think that's true that's why everyone thinks all knives are fucking illegal Total shite, in it, Timber? I, the only reason I listen to Radio 4 and Radio 4 Extra is because I can't listen to fucking... Um, yeah, illegal to hold. What's that mean? What does that fucking mean? It literally don't mean anything. <laughs> Things that I hope I inspired a new project. Oh, I'll look into it if I can get some golf clubs. Richard said you could make a fake gravestone with the words written on it. Dumbo Sabu, dressed as an undertaker. <laughs> Um, them so booth for God's sake, don't wear a red tie. I think you're a labor counselor. <laughs> for fuck's sake, them so booth democracy isn't dead. No, Zed said it isn't dead. Um, I'm gonna try and catch up. Where's that gone? Still get to vote who you want to rip rip you off and tell you what to um do. Yeah, that's it. I man said, Can you do a comedy skit, Mike? Mike's mullets use a green screen and a wig salesman. All the mullets are hundred real hair. Now, I'll think about it. That's a very slim fucking think about it, though. <clears throat> well, the thing is, Snowfall, nanny state bullshit, it's just a plain lie. That, it's not actually true. It's just a lie. What that bloke said is fucking bullshit. Yeah, it, you know, I don't know if you, if you can even say it's nanny state. It's just it's just a man stood on the tele, uh, you know, stood on the radio lying to people, really. You know what I mean? Um, that's total fucking bollocks. Total, total fucking bollocks. But the problem is, people believe it. That's why people think this country so fucked because they believe a load of shite. That's, you know, like the thing. Some people think that all knives are banned in the UK. 
you know, I've got fucking proof just there that it ain't. You know, I hate that when you get people doing the well, as as Peach says, yeah, I'll cut my steak with a spoon. People genuinely think that's true though, Peach, that we're not even allowed butter knives in this country. You know. Rocket said, um, great vid on the Warhammer. When can you do mine? Can I not have the handle on just it all metal, please? Well, if you do have it all metal, you'll see the um you'll see the the rivets. It's up to you though, but yeah, I don't mind doing that. I can put any handle on you want. I just wanted to do a more traditional one for Liam Rocket. Um but yeah. Things that's in a fine dagger. Daggers are a part of European culture. I think they are, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, the thing is, Slingshot, that's what I mean. He said, I'm, I'm happy I live in America. It's bullshit, though. What this man said is a fucking lie. It, it's bullshit. Yeah, it, it's, just, it's just a fucking bloke on the telly being a cunt and lying, basically. You know, he's saying that what I'm doing right now is illegal. Well, that's total fucking bullshit. <laughs> e Honda says, see, this is why I want to have you on, so you can talk to my audience about the current state of firearms and self-defense laws in the UK that we might not know about. I'll get on eventually, E Honda, I reckon. But yeah. But yeah, you know, you'll be surprised how many sort of bullshit um bullshit sort of lies there are out there that a lot of people believe about this country. Um you know, we all know we all know that knives are not illegal in this country. You know, if knives was illegal, you know, so that that's illegal then. Of course it's not. You know, I'd, I'd hate our fucking um, the bullshit that gets fucking sp spouted. Jumble Sabu said, Mike, ignorant libtards, mate. Even most coppers don't know weapons laws. When I was in the job, I was in weapons training and I was correcting the tutor on weapons. It's fucked, isn't it? It's fucked. Things that were bought uh, my golf club drives at thrift store, five pound a club, five dollars a club. If I get out and about, I'll, I'll have a look, saying, shot, you know. It's, it's a shame when you have to, but the problem is. E Honda said, same here. You guys just further down the road. I'm, you're right, you're right. Um, yeah, it, it's unbelievable when you hear people, you know, just talking fucking bollocks on the radio on what's supposed to be a legitimate fucking show, and they're actually talking to total fucking crap. Yeah, I couldn't believe it today when I heard it. It actually pissed me off when I heard this, this bloke say it on this radio station today. I might even do a video about it. I oh, man said America is just as fucked. You get five years for a piece of cannabis over there. Uh, Zed said to Jumble Sabu, ever get to shout, you're surrounded by armed bastards. <laughs> <coughs> Weapon Life said, it'd be like a US cop said, only hunting rifles and shotguns are legal. All other rifles are assault weapons and illegal to hold. That's it. It, it would be like that. It's exactly that. Tactical pilot said, whilst watching the Warhammer uh, build, I thought you could, could you not use power cord to wrap the handle? That's a bit of kit. You could. What I've done with that, though, that's been, like, soaked in varnish, so it becomes, like, hard. But, yes, you, you could do that. Someone mentioned about doing a cap on the handle as well. So it was hollow. But I just wanted that one because it's for Liam. He wanted the more traditional-looking one. So I've done absolutely fucking rock-solid build on it with a... Um, very solid handle that went, you know, that's been, I'm going to coat that about five times in um, varnish, the string. So it, even if it broke, it'd all stay in place. Pete said, if it's, if it isn't true, it shouldn't say it. Well, no, anyone else would get in trouble for talking bollocks like that on the radio. <coughs> uh, Tim said, there's a bloke. He's got a chieftain tank or a live main gun or shotgun to do it legally. He can't buy the, the ammo. Though. You know what, Tim? We quite often mention that on um, Liam's streams. Singshot, that's, Singshot said there are still very nebulous terms 
in your weapons laws. <coughs> well, the thing is, everything he said in that in that thing was bullshit, though. Everything he said in that in that fucking sentence he said was a lie. <coughs> No thought said your favorite weapon it weapon is modeled after the John EK Commando dagger. Ah nice one. Yeah, I think I'll sing then. Sing shot said I know it is, but there's um still some good things left. Thrift store uh, what would we call a thrift store? I can't remember uh, charity shop. Oh, yeah. Debut, right, mate. Yeah, good to see you on. Richard said, similar with the viral archery video Lars Anderson did, saying a lot of shit and everyone who watched it started going on to other archery videos saying, this isn't real archery, go watch Lars Anderson. Yes, I know what you're on about there, Rich. Yeah, it's, I think, I think at least on a video, you can sort of, you can, it's not, it's not any more acceptable, but at least on a YouTube video, it's sort of um, ungoverned in a way. Something. <laughs> I'm going to say, you, you, well, we all know that the BBC and all the telly things talk shite anyway, but you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> you know, they're supposed to be governed by certain rules to stop them talking shite. Itchy fucking beard. Hey, Honda, see you later, mate. Good to have you on. Zed Zed Wire, man, or maybe Stephen Hawkins, because uh, their ass is like a black hole. I said, Mike, wake up and make a coffee. I got one. <sighs> JBO said to weapons, I've enjoyed the um, Russian night vision monocle video, monocular video. Weapons, I've said, well, it's like when a comedian on a BBC show said she'd like to throw a battery ass on Nigel Farage. And the BBC did nothing about it. Well, that's it. That's it. Well, that's why I started laughing when I was saying it, because I knew, you know. But, yeah, you know, they're supposed to be governed by certain rules, but they're just um, rules that they only want to follow certain ones, aren't they? Iron Man said, masturbation can make a man tired. I'm yawning. <laughs> well, either go and have a wank, then or stop wanking. <coughs> Number Sabu said, remember a BBC documentary about trade and standards and banned videos? A guy from trade and standards sees copies of a low budget movie, Snuff, and said it was a real Snuff movie, which is clearly not. Yeah, it, they shouldn't be allowed to talk all that fucking bollocks. <laughs> You're joking me, Iron Man. I was joking. I said, ooh, touchy. <laughs> You're the one being touchy here. <laughs> And say you didn't see my hand movement, man. Uh, Pete said, I oh, know I shouldn't have um, done that before work. Oh, about to shave your chin, Fluff. Things up said, you can buy a knife with a D guard in the UK, just as good as my trench knife. Yeah, oh, I've made one. Don't need to tell me that, mate. I know all about D guards. But yeah, I know what you mean, though. But yeah, now I know about D guards. That's homemade. But yeah, ears, you're right. Ears as good as any. Um, you have to think like with the backward laws. So you can't have a knuckle duster, but you can have a D guard. Yeah, and on the side, but yeah, exactly there. Um, tactical said, just making sure you're not yawning. When you uh, come, Iron Man, accidents, accidents do happen. <laughs> yeah, especially if he's been building it up, like he said last time, where it hit the fucking roof, he said. <clears throat> JBO said to Slingshot, the commander knife you were testing the other day was is nice. Was it expensive? Richard said to Weapons Off, thing is, you can't draw a war bow the way he does and half drawing a bow. You do so much power, and he's not shooting... How the Arab artist describes in the book he quotes. If he's the one I'm on about, don't he? And all of his bows, like £20 as well, or something. <clears throat> I may be completely wrong there, Rich. I mean, I may be talking about something else. 
Um, weapons as other D-Guards are pretty traditional sabers. That's probably why they've never put any legal things on them. Then said, what did you have for dinner, Mike? I had chips and battered chicken with, and then I put on mine, sweet and sour sauce from the Chinese. That's <laughs> just keeping his pipes clean. JBO says, is that Lars Anderson Archery guy? I'll look that up quickly. Just if that's the bloke, I, and I'll tell you if it's the bloke I think it is. Yeah, it is definitely, yeah. You know, I may be wrong about the power of his bows, but they don't fucking look very powerful. Um, you know, they look about 20 fucking pounds to me. Oh. Swingshot said it was $40 shipping and handling JBO. Richard said to JBO, cheers, I've got another two or more bows planned. Snowfort said, I don't make videos, but I'd like to make a knife collection video for you specifically. Is there a way to make sure you see it? Um... Apart from coming on here and telling me you've made a video, well, I could sub to you, Snowfort, yeah. Pete, you can't sub straight from the fucking um, chat. Subscribe. There you go. But if for some reason I don't see it, Snowfort, um, just come on a chat and say, Mike, I've uploaded a video. Or even better, the best thing is to comment on a video saying like a normal video they might i've uploaded a video for you and then i'll um, go watch it weapons and stuff said yeah the one with the low draw weight bows pretending he had a magical technique to shoot any bow really fast exactly yeah yeah it was so you know it you know it, yeah i don't know it's just hard you know, he probably has, he's got some skills, but it's different. If you tried to do some of those things with a fifty-pound bow, you just physically wouldn't be able to do it. You know, and I, I don't. You know, I may be wrong, but about his bow draws, but I assume it's a low bow draw. The way he just goes like that, like he's fucking pulling back an elastic band almost, because it still looks fancy. You know, a, a twenty-foot, you know, a fucking ten-pound. I think I had a twelve-pound. <laughs> bow, it was still shooting an arrow and it looked quite impressive, but it's not going to fucking go in someone. <laughs> Good poor shit skills. Tim's and I got a 20 pound bow, perfect for small garden plinking. Yeah, exactly, Timbo. Yeah, so I don't watch archery videos, I find them too arrowing. I would say. Iron Man said he wants you to sub to his channel. Why have you written it like that? Richard said, no, said, not saying he hasn't got skills, but claiming what he does. Was used in a war warfare with BS. Uh, Jumbo Star Booster. Some of the weapons banned in 1998 were so random. Coupons with spikes inside, hand claws, fern stars. None of these are deadly. Just more <laughs> annoying and a distraction. Yeah, I've, you know, I've always found that totally fucking ridiculous. Purge destroy short night. Runs off. It'd be like my super fast method of loading a musket, except the end goes to ball and no powder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom Sabo said, side down the batons are illegal, but Tomfers are not. Go figure. They're exactly the same. Yeah, that's like just completely demented, isn't it? <laughs> JBO said, Tom Sabo, yeah, pretty much anything to do with the ninja due to the ninja scare. Zed says, Tom Sabo, the funny thing is, those hand claws were climbing aids, not weapons. Richard said, he uses a 35 pound bow. But he only half draws it for speed. So probably only £22 at his draw length. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> it does look impressive, and he has got some skills for what he does. But as you say, Rich, <clears throat> you know, and he's probably an all right bloke. He probably wasn't going out to, <clears throat> you know, spread misinformation. Who knows, though? I just got out of hand. But I know what you mean, though, Rich. I think said I'm getting a 70 pound bow from Sigman. No, I was, yeah, I saw that on your video. Yeah. What is it? Recurve? Did you say recurve or compound slingshot? I can't remember. I'll get my bows out soon. <coughs> I've got one down here, but I've got two, maybe three in the loft. 
Yeah, he is the uh, Ashida King of Archers. <laughs> Yeah, Iron Man said, Mike, watch a movie called Tris Iron Man. I have watched that. That is fucking bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe is, and um, matey from um, the young father bloke, you know, the priest bloke from um, There Will Be Blood. Yeah. Has anyone else seen Swiss Army Man? That is weird. <clears throat> It's a bloke stranded on a um, desert island and he finds a dead body and then he starts to use the body pretty much like a Swiss Army pen knife sort of thing, as in he starts using the, 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 the corpse as like a tool. <laughs> Fucking, it's really weird, isn't it? Oh, man, very funny. Uh, JBO said weapons after. I'm not sure which one was insulted in that comment. <laughs> Soviet Union has got just got notified about this. All right. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Yeah, bullshit the king. I watched some of that stuff recently, Jim, after um, Liam put me onto it. I watched the whole thing. What was the long one you sent me, Liam? Which I watched the whole long the whole long documentary, the um blood sport bloke. Rita said, keep your bow, sh this is the slingshot, he said, keep your bow shoulder low and retracted when shooting a bow slingshot, 70 pound, if you're not used to it, it can be really heavy to draw when you start. Yeah, to be honest, when he said 70 pound off, I instantly thought, fuck me, I would not want to, you know, depending on the size of it, I, I tried to shoot a fucking 50 pound one, I think the draw was way too long though, because even when I got to here, it wasn't fully drawn. It would it would have been after like behind here. It was way too big for me. I couldn't pull it. Um, yeah, I think it was Frank Ducks. Yeah, Dukes. <clears throat> well, I've said the long one was about the super soldier bloke with the magic sword. Dad said to Timbo, the thing is, most of the martial arts stuff was banned, was either crap or they're more dangerous to the untrained people using them than anything else. <coughs> Fake as fuck he was. Yeah, Frank Frank Dukes, yeah. Complete nutter. That's it, let not say that about him. He might come after me. Sorry, Frank. <clears throat> you better cover your asses as well. He's coming after you lot now. He just told me. Bristol said I've got four hunting bows, 44 pound draw. Yeah, that's about right. That's all you, you need, I think. Daniel, you right, mate? So I'm back, feeling a lot better now. It's been a dark, clammy week. You've been ill, have you, then? What, you had the fucking really bad fucking um, cold or something? Sing sort of said, remember, guys, when you make a strong but light self defense cane, uh, my cutting head of a titanium <laughs> golf club driver. <laughs> when I said, I got this magic sword as proof I won, but I had to trade it to save children from pirates. <laughs> you better watch out. You might be watching this. I don't know Mike make a collapsible, collapsible bow, foot bow, like out of um, Book of Eli. Oh, at the beginning, yeah, when he shoots the um, bold cat of it, yeah. Does he, use, does he use his bow a lot in it? I can't remember now. JBO said, picked up a nice knife today. Go and do a video on it. Tomorrow. Nice one. Jim, you haven't done a video for a while, have you? How come you haven't been on for a while? Or I haven't been missing it. You know, um, what do you call it? Um, YouTube not sending me the fucking uh, videos. Londinium Armory's not been on for a while, but I asked him about that because I noticed he'd still been commenting but not getting on videos. He's just busy, if anyone wondered. He's been busy and he's not, and he's been pissing down the rain where he was, so he ain't been getting in the garden. So he sort of said good artery advice. And Stug said, good evening. All right, mate. Good to see you on. <clears throat> I might as well say it now. Well, there's a bit of a lull. If anyone ever wanted to support me, the best way to do it is uh, Patreon. You can join Patreon for $1 a month or £1 a month. So it's about 3p a day or 3 cents a day. Join that. You get your name on that thing. That's why I'm pointing at it. Um, but you massively support my channel that way. 
pays for you know it pays for a lot of things not to do with the channel anyway and here's the link to it and the links are in the description as well um architects home you're right mate he said that was a sweet ass warhammer what kind of metal is the tube what you that used just a mild steel but it's um it's about a two mil thick wall so it's quite thick should be way but i'll tell you what the one of my original warhammer is aluminium but it's three mil thick wall so if that will if if the original one will hold up with aluminium that definitely will yeah it's just a mild steel tube 28 mil outer diameter with a two mil wall i mean it may have been a 2.5 mil wall i can't remember but it was um it's, it'll be it'll be definitely sufficient um things so i challenge anyone to try what i suggested you'll need a hacksaw and a dremel jbo said my two-year-old has decided to do terrible twos by the time he's gone to bed i'm knackered just want a cup of coffee in five minutes a bit. Uh, that's all good jim i just wondered because you never know I, I like to ask you know i put the wrong fucking link on didn't i someone put the patreon one on i've got it now actually there here's the patreon link look up what night but what says <coughs> um iron man said mike invest in night vision goggles shit fan you'll be superior at night yeah i might do that see if i can get some cheap stuff tacticals that i picked up an earphone case it's now micro urban edc i can fit a nice bit of edc in it three by 50. nice but how big is it about that big that's my hearing aid um box that's an old fucking sanitary towel box that's my edc for my jacket <laughs> things that said i'm now on d live mike you come on later slingshot go on about if you go on because i'm not finishing yet i'll be on until half 11 tonight come back on do a live stream in about an hour and a half um slingshot we'll all go over to yours i'll show you in a minute i man. um i think is he saying he's live now um daniel said just sub that slingshot hopefully catch a stream soon Richard said, if you look up Way of the Archery, Slingshot Warrior, they have really good videos on how to shoot high jaw weights. They explain it far better than I can. Iron Man said, how does a hearing aid work? In all honesty, I don't really know. But um, it magnet, you know, it makes the, yeah, amplifies the sound, basically. But there it is there. Um, it just amplifies it, but it also is noise cancelling. So if there's a really loud noise, this won't obviously make that loud noise louder. If it gets to a certain decibel, it will shut it off. Yeah. Microphone microphone there feeds the sound down that tube and into my ear, basically. There's the battery there. They last about 16 days. Yeah, that's the microphone bit. Feeds it down into my ear. And that thing fills your ear. It completely sort of seals your ear. <clears throat> covered in tape dan he said is that covered in tape yeah because it's got fucking um, a ribbon on that side and it says fucking body form on that side <laughs> um rob you're right mate i'm gonna take this out it's a bit weird hearing my own voice with nothing else with a hearing aid on it makes your voice sound ever so slightly tinny clarky bz you're right mate he said what's your uh what's your favorite song to put on um oh i don't know and loads trying to think what i've been listening to lately i listen to a lot of weird random shit like anything anything and everything dad said not even going to ask why well, you have sanitary towel box i don't think i want to know <laughs> just go and spare it's just empty <laughs> JBO said, I'm interested in slingshot. Have you done a video on it yet? Tactical Pirate said, about three times four inches. Uh, three by four, sorry. Wish I'd bought it ages ago. Molly pouch too obvious for urban use. Iron Man said, I now go with a cochlear implant. That looks complicated. Yeah, there's different kind of deafnesses as well. I don't... That one's vibrating through the bone at the back, I think. As far as I'm aware. I don't need that. <coughs> 
Zing says, I'll dovetail your stream. Yeah, do that. That's an easier thing to do, Zing. Because the problem is, if you sling, if you stream now, everyone will still be here. When you finish, which will be, I will, I will, sorry, when I finish, which will be in about an hour and 20 minutes, we'll all go over to yours, the people who want to stay on. Dan said, do you ever wear it on a stream? Not, no, no. Purely because I'm just sat in the quiet talking to myself, I don't wear it. Architects at home, I said, his favourite uh, song is Damage Case by Motorhead. Slingshot said, not yet, JBA, but I've done it many times. My man said, Kenny Loggin was playing with the boys. <coughs> Padio said, Mike has a sanitary pad tin. Uh, it was the best price. It was free. Well, exactly, Padio. Yeah, you're right there. It was free. Yeah, he, he knows the score. <laughs> Now, nah, in all honesty, I think someone else had them. There's a sling them all. So I was like, yeah, I know. Tins are always good for things. As I said, that, that fits in your pocket a lot better than a tobacco tin. If you want it in a nice, slim pocket. Peter's had a shave. So I'll be interested to see the video of that slingshot if you get time. Rob said, Mike just described the streamer sitting in the dark talking to himself. <laughs> but say, uh, well, you know what I mean, though. I don't hear no voices back, apart from the ones in my head. <laughs> but yeah, the hearing aid. What it is? As soon as I whack that in, I'll, I'll describe what I can hear when I put this in. Then, right? So at the minute, I can hear ever so faint bit of background noise, but I can't pinpoint what it is. Like a. Almost like just a bit of a hum of a background noise. And my voice sounds perfectly normal. I right, put this in. Right. So now I can hear my own voice even louder, but now it sounds almost like echoey. And I can hear a shh in the background. And then I can hear any fucking footsteps outside, downstairs, shit like that. Yeah, it's weird when you're on your own. It's good. You're good. I love having hearing aids. It's fucking brilliant if you need to. If you need to hear things, but um, yeah, when you're sat on your own, it's um, it's a bit pointless sort of thing. <laughs> Daniel said, "Pete, nothing worse than a dry razor pube shave." <laughs> oh, I missed that. Yeah, he said, "I had a full shave, just a face though." Yeah, I'll tell you what, Rob, and I'll tell you the best thing about it. The fucking batteries are free as well. You don't even have to pay for them. Just take the old packets down to the doctors and they'll give you new ones. Things that so well, JB, I'd be interested to see you guys try it for yourselves. <coughs> Rob said, be good for shit hit the fan. Um, or will you have a warrant out? <laughs> yeah. Are oh, you right? Sorry, yes, yeah, for listening out, yeah. Yeah, it would be worth, it might be, because you can get, um, for people with perfectly good hearing, you can get um, sound amplifiers. I think, I think, I uh, Man might have different. If someone wore one, would it be good to amp normal hearing? Yes, it would. You can actually get them. Um, the only thing with mine, mine wouldn't fit in your ear. That, that bit that goes in my ear was molded to my ear. So it wouldn't fit in your ear. But, yeah, you can get, like, generic ones. I think it would be good for, um, yeah, like you said, shared a fan or if you had the police after you. Yeah, I think I think it would. You can get, um, and it's good, like I said, that cancels noise out as well. So if someone made a really fucking loud noise next to you, that wouldn't amplify that. That would cut it out when it got to a certain decibels. Um, Zed said, I remember when I had my ear syringe once for 24 hours, I could hear a cat piss doing my husband. That's what that's like. I've had my ear syringe as well. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? When you um, when you have that done, this one I can't have syringe now though because it's got a fucking um, perforated eardrum. But yeah, it's it's a bit like that, Zed. Yeah, it's fine. I'll tell you what, it's fucking good. I don't need it all the time, but most of the time I can get away with it. But if I go out somewhere, I do like to wear it because it does help. But I don't, I don't need it all the time. And also, like, because they said to me, when you get it, wear it all the time so you get used to it. Because I think what happens is a lot of people wear hearing aids. I've heard it from people, actually, um, that they find it uncomfortable because you've, you've sort of got something sticking in your ear. Now, I never found that. 
I've always found that I've, in all honesty, I fucking love this thing. You know, because of what it does, it enhances your fucking hearing. So it's never bothered me. I've never thought, oh, that's uncomfortable. You know, I've worn it for um probably 12 hours straight once. After five minutes, you don't even realize it's there. And also the, the sort of tinny voice as well, that eventually your brain, you, you, you don't notice it anymore. And then that becomes normal. It's just because I don't wear it all the time. When I first put it in, I notice it. <clears throat> Architects home had Walker Game Ears. What's that? Is that um an in heart, you know, audio enhancer thing? Yes, like the stream, everyone, please. Tactical said, read, read that back. Sounded like I was taking the piss. But so <laughs> so I removed the post. It's all right. I don't I don't know which one it was. I don't I didn't think you was well, unless I didn't read it anyway, but I didn't I didn't think you was taking the piss. If I read it anyway, I might not even seen it. No, I've got that far down. Rob said, you can buy earbuds that do noise cancel. Um, and you could be in a busy bar, choose to hear one person across the side of a room. Yeah, it's crazy advancement. Yeah, it's fucking proper clever shit, isn't it? Um, yeah, I love all that kind of stuff. Because you know, it's enhancing our you know day-to-day -day lives. Especially if you've got good ear in any way and you can enhance that even more. It's even better sort of thing. You know, I need, you know, I say I need that. I could get away without it. But for me to be here and as good as you, I need that. Things so sort of said you should try to add more dark brown and black to your merchandise, Mike. Well, sadly, that's the only colours there are. What I do, Sling, so I pick every colour you can do. Some things, they don't do a lot of colours. Yeah, you get restricted to the, the colours that you can pick and I pick every single one of them. Dad said he needs a coffee. Yeah, go and get one, mate. I've still got a bit of mine. Iron Man said, I got into a fight once and my whole ear was purple from a punch. Anyone else had that? I have been whacked around the head of a motorbike helmet on that ear because I did suspect that's what injured my ear originally in a fight. Um, but it wasn't that. But no, my ear was all right. It fucking hurt, though, but it didn't. I didn't. It didn't go purple and it didn't. Um, I didn't get like a cauliflower ear or anything, but I did get yeah, whack on the head of a motorbike. Game. What's my biggest guilty pleasure? Pornhub? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pornhub, food and booze, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Pleasure. Um, guilty pleasure. <laughs> I don't know. I got some strange guilty pleasures in music tastes and film tastes. I'll tell you that. Architects home is a hearing, it's a hearing advance and it counsels out sound over 30 decibels. So when you fire your gun, it won't make you deaf. But everything under 30 decibels is basically I've terminated hearing. That sounds good. Um, although it does make it hard to perceive where the sound is coming from. You can hear everything. You can't tell which direction it's coming from, which is a problem with generic hearing hearing in huts that's my problem i have in real life because this uh this ear is like virtually deaf this ear is completely fine all sound sounds like it's coming from that way that's why i'm partly a bit more paranoid at night because <clears throat> if i think someone's if i hear a sound behind me it always sounds like it's from the same place so i have to constantly keep turning around if i hear something to make sure because i cannot rely on my ear because i'll think it's that way Pete said, pre-ordered Primitive Technologies book. It'll be the first book in a year or two. Pre-ordered Primitive Technologies book will be the first book in a year or two. What's, what do you mean, Pete? What first bit, book from someone, do you mean? Or your book? Oh, it'll be the first book of a series, you mean? Um, Weapons have said, anyone know the ear defender is good for cancelling out medium noise? Um... I've got some that are good for loud noises, but I can still hear the TV. No, I couldn't really help you there, Liam. Uh, <laughs> Richard said, can't live without hentai on Pornhub, Mike. <laughs> <sighs> so I said, no, you can't. Tim said, the Samsung Galaxy Buds are noise cancelling. Plus, you can turn the ambient outside volume up and down. 
That's good. Um, so you can use them with a phone, but can still hear the world around you. By the way, Tim, I've got all your footage, by the way. Sorry I didn't email you back. Great footage. You've done the fucking... You've done everything I wanted you to do, so thank you. Yours will be match 17, I think. Ted said, do you listen to Indians in Moscow? I still haven't. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, right, I'll do both of those. Right. Right, I'll listen to that later and I'll share the the um the strike thing on my community page then. Things like, do you get ear do you get build ups of earwax, Mike? Not really, not any no, my problem is slingshot. Right, this ear is fine. This one has got a perforated eardrum and then the little bones inside my right, I've got a collapsed and perforated eardrum and I've had it for a probably 26 years or more and it caves inwards and what it's been doing all that time i've, I've been pretty much deaf since like 16 um it's been rubbing it's about four, 24 years anyway it's been rubbing on the little bones that you hear with anyway and it's it's literally rubbed them away so there's no repair in my hearing apart from with hearing aid but you know it works fine yeah, that's my issue. But now I don't really get earwax. Like, not like that's not what's making me deaf anyway. Our first book you've bought, Pete said. Timbo said, I've got a pair of XMOD hearing defenders, which are pretty good. That, they're not the tentacles again, Richard. His first book, Pete said. I man said, Have you ever had a really, really real dream you can control, but you know it's a dream? But the tint is different. Well, I've not because I have had that, but I've never noticed any color or lack of color in my dreams. I've just known I was dreaming. Um, but yeah, the thing, because some people reckon, which I, I think is bullshit though, um, but I've never really actually paid attention enough to know. But people reckon you don't dream in color, but I'm pretty sure my dreams are in color. Um, yeah. Daniel said, I've had some old ones from the army, Liam. I used to I use them for cutting now. I'll get the make and I'll let's go in my van. Tim said, awesome, Mark, I'm moving forward. Uh, sorry I didn't message you, Tim. I've been a bit like weird of emails lately. Um, but I've got all the footage and thank you because you did exactly like the perfect like thing. Um, Zed said, I've had an idea how you can do that music thing. Just a normal video. And people post links to their music suggestions in the comments. Right, I'm going to have to show you what I wrote down, Zed, because that's exactly what I wrote down as well. Where's my little piece of paper? But yes, that's what I thought. Yeah, it'll have to be that. Normal video. You lot um, write the songs down. We all go and listen to them. Come back for the next video. A bit like the film club, basically. Yeah, I think that's it. I've got that written down exactly that, Zed, because that's the only way I can think of doing it. Got so many pieces of fucking paper. But yeah, that's what I thought in yeah. It's the only way it work, isn't it? Think sort said he did one. Oh, I have had I have had wax in my ears and had to have it syringe. But I think that was the fucking doctor clutching at straws. I used to go to the doctor saying I can't hear properly. So they'd say, Oh, maybe have your ears waxed. Uh, not waxed, um, syringed, you know, and sometimes it'd make me hear but sometimes it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, so that's an insane minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> things that say, can you hear good in your dreams yes oh, i'll tell you what things that i can hear fine in my dreams as far as i'm aware i'm saying that i've never noticed that but i do often i don't do it now but for years when i gave up smoking and drinking i, I didn't smoke or drink but i haven't smoked for years and i still don't now but i did give up drinking for six years i drink now then but during that six years when i didn't smoke or drink in my dreams, I would still smoke and drink. Huh. Yeah, saying that, I tell, slingshot. My my sort of hearing is weird. Where I've been deaf for so long, it sort of feels like normal. But yeah, I've never, I've yeah, I've never in my dreams had to say what. Yeah. Hmm. 
bitch he was grabbing at some nice boobs once in a dream. <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> what happened? I've said to Daniel, yeah, cheers. Once I have a fine for firearms, just uh, just not very good for quieter noises like people talking. Dan said, I had a dream the other night. I was in a bar in Australia and in the bar, and they tried to charge $15 for a pint. Started scrapping of all the Australians with stupid beer prices. Yeah, and dream's so weird. <coughs> I'm out of simple minds are a great group. Wings said, I once, I've once controlled my drift. I have a couple of times, not loads of times, but um, I quite often have very vivid dreams if I take, right, if I, uh, you normally sleep for about eight hours, say. If I sleep for an extra hour, I'm pretty much guaranteed to have a vivid dream. Sometimes during those very vivid dreams, I can control them a bit. But I have had ones where I can control it, but then I start getting stuck in in this sort of um, controlling. So, and it will start looping back almost. So I had a dream where I was trying to cross a bridge, right? And I couldn't cross the bridge. So I was going to climb up and over part of it. But what would happen is I would be able to control myself climbing up and over it, but then I'd start back again. And it would keep doing that. Like partial control, but not. Very weird. Object history, right, mate? He said, hey, everyone, I'm on a plane that's about to take off. Um, sitting, what's that? Sitting in tip, the, the connection goes. All right, that's good to see you on, mate. Where are you going? Good to see you on. Yeah. So object history is on a plane, right, to take off. Pizza fights. I also had some vivid ones. Now, the vivid dreams make me um, feel shattered the following day. It's weird, isn't it? I might have, when I'm drunk, I dream. When I'm drunk, I drink drinking ice cold juice and I wake up puking from dehydration. Yeah, I puked last time I drank, which was last weekend. <laughs> All I drank as well was uh, half a bottle of Chianti. Two buds, two fosters, and a bottle of ale. And fucking hell, that's not a lot for me. Um, I had a really, really bad hangover, and I puked my fucking guts up. Tim said it's called lucid dreaming. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you can train yourself to do lucid dreaming. Yeah, lucid dreaming is when you can control it. Then said part one. What was your worst dream? Mine was when a dynamic monkey leaped up my back when I was on my motorbike. I rode like a mad thing. I couldn't shake it off. <laughs> Rob said, had dreams that caused asthma attacks. Um, they called it emotional asthma. Is that real? Or is that a joke that's gone over my head? That's weird, though, isn't it? That's two times um, asthma has come up today. Daniel said, it's weird what your mind can make up. When I used to partake in um, munching E's like Smarties, my dreams were fucked about monsters and aliens. They're yeah, bizarre. Um, Zed said, then he woke up, he leaned forward and whispered, they're coming. Fuck's sake. Slingshot said, um, when I was young, I realised I was dreaming. And I controlled the seasons by concentrating. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly the lucid dreaming that Tim was saying. I am out said, controlling my dreams is no problem. When I wake, I have no control. <laughs> but yeah, so as soon as I realise I'm dreaming, I wake up. Well, that's the thing. You can train yourself so that you don't wake up. But the problem is, that's what most people do. As soon as they know they're dreaming, they wake up. It's been out to stay asleep and do it. Will said, would you ever convert a van and live in it, Mike? A good quality conversion, your DIY skills will come in handy. Definitely will. I probably will one day as well. Yeah, I'm well up for doing that. Um, and I've got a feeling I probably will live like that for a bit one day. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely will. Object history said, I almost never remember my dreams. It probably means they're weird as fuck. My sister's husband 
He says he never, ever remembers his dreams. Strange, isn't it? Timber says, I'll never sleep well if I take anything to help. I have vivid dreams that wake me up. Now, I do like dreams, though. They're very, very bizarre. Rob says, anyone had a bed shake or pillow whilst I sleep and wake up? I, um, <laughs> no. I've had that weird thing where it feels like something pulls your leg, but it's that weird like nerve thing where you go like that. If you can see what I mean, with your leg. Dad said to now, it scared the crap out of me, I have to admit. I don't much care for monkeys at the best of times, and dynamic ones are definitely not my favourite. Daniel said, I find the weird the ones I remember the most. I've had ones where I've died in dreams, fell off things, and done that multiple times in one night. Um, sometimes have ones with um, great big fucking spiders, like three or four times the size of um, tarantulas trying to kill me. Hundreds of them. And I haven't, like, go mental with um, weapons, trying to fucking squash them as they're coming after me. Uh, um, that's a weird one, because I ain't that fucking scared of spiders. But, you know, you, I think anyone would be scared of a spider that big. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That was trying to attack you. <laughs> Rob's, I guess I've got a ghost then. Fuck's sake. So, Iron Man said, do you ever get violent, a violent jolt as you're falling asleep? Sometimes. I ain't had that, apart from the leg pulling thing, occasionally, but that's very rare. You must have had a really bad dream for that one. I said, what I hate is audio hallucinations when you've got a blocked ear. Well, there's a bit of ambient noise. To be honest, I think I had that all the timely and... <laughs> You're in your hearing someone else faintly. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. You can, you can, especially at night, if you sit there and you've got that, you can hear no end of weird shit. Now said, my mum always had that, Rob. And she was an old dad. I've been uh, <laughs> asleep. I'm never going to sleep ever again. So. Pink said, I'd love to be 69 <laughs> and fall asleep and get the leg thing. And, um... Boot the other person. Oh, yeah. All right. I, I couldn't work out where you was going then. Yeah, 69 in. <laughs> yeah, Rob, that's a night terror. Usually about falling. That's why I jump off the pillowcase, because you believe it's real. That was in now. I've got a video of me uh, <laughs> enjoying. You can hear a voice telling me not to do it. And it calls me by my name. I was all on my own. Fuck's sake, that is weird. What was, where was she, what was you saying then, Tactical? I missed that. Yeah, 25 on the stream, 19 likes. Come on, get liking. Dad said to Rob, part one. I had that once. It was during a thunderstorm. The bed was shaking like a good one. I woke up and saw something wearing a short cow leaning over me. <laughs> Things that a great brand of rice pudding in America is cozy shut. All right. Dad said, just commenting on the scare. All oh, right. Nice one, mate. But yeah, I had quite a few. Um, the very, I, tell, I can tell you my very first two ever really scary dreams that I woke up and I, you know, I actually like like that sort of thing. The jump up, about ten, I think. Um, and in He Man, there's this orange monster thing with his spikes. On he's got like this weird like leather thing on the spikes coming out of it anyway. And that was trying to get up the stairs to kill us. And at the time, that would have just been me, Mount, my mum and dad, and our dog but trying to get up the stairs to kill us. And um. I must have only been about 10, as I said, or younger. And I remember at one point jumping down at it to try and, you know, and one of the spikes went straight through my chest and pierced straight through my chest. And that's at the point I woke up with a really bad um, pain in my chest. And the other one was being outside our back gate that we used to have, and there was these two Dobermans out there trying to, this was a completely different dream, trying to attack me and Malcolm, and then our dog was out there trying to help us. But then suddenly my dog turned around, which was now safe, and bit my arm. 
And again, that woke me up and I had a pain in my arm. Yeah, weird. But that's the my two. I've had loads of weird, like, I've been crushed to death in dreams. Like, to the point where my head was crushed and went, and then that's when I woke up. But my head was crushed in, <laughs> um, you know, and then I woke up. The dad said, um, and that's how the dog we had um, at the time got a right hook. Poor thing was scared by the thunder and managed to get in my bedroom somehow. <laughs> oh, the poor dog. With the, the thing with a short cow leaning over you. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Rob said shit, Red. I'd have got into a heart attack. <laughs> Tactical, yeah, I can't share it. I'm being a dick on. Wait for comment. Oh, the fucking, um, yeah, the slow mode. Things that said I recently had a very vivid religious dream, more frightening than anything ever imagined. But we won't go into this as a conversation, Slingshot, unless you want to, but I know you don't. That wasn't after your stream last time, was it? Your last stream, talk about a certain uh, YouTuber. Actually, I must mention that in a minute. Not that, something else. Um, I promised I would mention something. I imagine, Mike, did I tell you of my dream when it was a long dark corridor of ceiling high windows on the left with the moonlight coming through and on the left there was a shower cubicle a running shower. No, you never told me that. I watched Children of the Corn last night. It was pretty corny. <laughs> the original one with Linda Hamilton because there's a few. There's, I think there's like 10 fucking Children of the Corn. I'll be honest with you, I don't think any of the Children of the Corns are particularly very good. I remember watching that very first one, though, and that first bit where that jump scare is with the car scared the fucking crap out of me. Um, that's a good that's a good scare, that bit, but that's about it. No, there's loads of them. I've got a box set. There's about ten of them there, and they're all shite, really. There's not, I don't think there's a single good Children of the Corn film. Things that said, no, it was last summer. Tactical didn't know. The video I have with a creepy voice on it. I bet it fucking would. I wanted to take myself at night, but then I got too scared in case I heard something like that or heard myself giving out my secrets or something in my sleep. <laughs> like that. I imagine my dreams would scare most people. Jack Stryker, right? If you don't know, Jack Stryker's allowing comments again on his videos. I, I said I would, because um, it appears that where he shut the comments off, people aren't watching his, you know, commenting as much. Um, yeah, so if you don't know, Jack Stryker is letting people comment on his videos again. I don't know how long that's going to be for, though. Just letting you know. Um, Rob said, I had a three-year nightmare once where 52% of the country's people banged their heads against the wall. Because 48% were bad losers, yeah. Yeah, fuck me. That that'll be going on for next twenty years, mate. If you want it, just ask. <laughs> Timbo said, "Just had a vodka and red wine cocktail after a short few days at work." Night, I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, Tim. Yeah, enjoy yourself, mate, and have a relax. Just now, said, "Yeah, his videos are brilliant." Last few days. Oh, you've been on there now, have you? Good. Yeah. I just thought I'd mention it because I was having a joke with him about his last video. I said, you know I want to borrow it. <laughs> and he said, after all the Brexit crap, he wasn't sure if he wanted to cave their heads in or cave his own head in. I'll tell you what, saying that, I say they're all crap. I think the third one's not too bad from what I remember. Liam, he said, I'll probably watch the second one as it's on Amazon Prime. Just for like, I think they're worth watching. I've watched the f maybe five or six of them. Um, 
I've watched them all, you know, you know, I've watched not all of them. I've watched the ones I've got. I've got a box out there, but um yeah. Most of do you know I always like Outlander for some reason, I don't know why. Outlander. Most of, I love I love someone being pointed at Outlander. <laughs> I don't know if that's in all of them. Just makes me laugh, I don't know why. Yeah, interloper. <laughs> Right, where am I? Richard said, the second children of the corn, the scene with the bamboo cane thing killed the guy in the van. Oh, yes, I remember that, yeah. Uh, it was bad makeup, no effort. To have good special effects. Preston, you right, mate? Yeah, I would, I would say watch him. Pete said, Todd Cutler has 25% off some of his um, products until the 19th. Things that the future project would be a mace. Can you weld that together? I can't weld, but uh, let me just show you something. Uh, sling shots. I can find it. Something I drew yesterday. If you mean that flanged mace, there's a picture of a flanged mace just there. That would be the top-down view. That would be the side view um, of a flanged mace that would require no welding. It was that Warhammer that inspired me to do that. <laughs> Weapons I've said, God's, God speaks to me. And then um, I sort of said, Amen, Leon. <coughs> so there you go. Thing shot. Um, weapons and stuff. He's found God. No, yeah, he's already been. No, you. He's um. Let's say he's found God, but you um. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore me. Yeah, I can't weld, but I, I, as usual, I would find a way to do it without welding. Now said was brilliant being out a comment too. Um, which is our Iron Man. I always wake up at three. Oh yeah, did he say to people wake up at three? Yeah. I knew you was quoting the film. Me and two were quoting the film. <laughs> Rob said to Iron Man, all diabetes. <laughs> so, watch out, Iron Man. Well, you're feet numb as well. Thank you for all the um, link shares, by the way, Now I appreciate it. She's working hard tonight. At least someone does it. Rob said, I'm out and fucking, yeah, that's called um, middle-aged piss break. Really, yeah, it's been good commenting on Jack's um, videos, isn't it? Tax, would anybody see the F off revolver on Forgotten Weapon? What a beast. Made from a shotgun. No, I've not seen that. I don't actually subscribe to him. <coughs> Pergio said, that's half-time Spartan time for Brian Bovril. Iron Man said, no, I'm in perfect health. <laughs> but he said, hey, yeah, he'd have to take my foot. <laughs> What's that from then? Things that said, if Mike came to America, I'd take him to a barbecue pit. Thank you. Yeah, we go. We go and do a bit of shooting, something shot. You take him to a barbecue pit. We can go and... um." Do all the American things. As a family guy. Weapons well, I said, what's the worst Stephen King film? Oh fucking hell, right. Let me have a look at my collection. There's quite a few bad ones. Um oh we are. This is the worst, um Probably the worst Stephen King film, although it's not really a Stephen King film, if that makes sense. Right, hang on. So right, you get the film. Sometimes they come back. That's that's good, right? Yeah, Lawnmower Man probably rich. Then they made. Sometimes they come back again, which has nothing to do with Stephen King stuff. And then they made. Sometimes they come back for more which is probably one of the worst films I've ever seen. Um, but, yeah, Lawnmower Man. Well, as you know, saying that, I thought the Lawnmower Man... The problem is, you say what's the worst Stephen King film, then. Depends what you mean. 
Some of them are terrible adaptations because they've got nothing to do with the original films. But I thought, um, I thought The Lord of the Man was an all right film, but it's nothing like the book. What else is there? If I buy the Stephen King things anyway, even if they're crap, I just like his stuff. Tommy knockers drags on a bit. Yeah. Sometimes they come back for more. But it's not really a Stephen King film, really. It's based on character by Stephen King, so it's not really. In all honesty. Yeah, Lord Mail Man 2, again, that'll be based on. Well, I think, Liam. But there's a lot of I've got I've got a load of DVDs, but I've got a lot downloaded as well. <coughs> Iron Man said, Mike, would you eat cows out of stew? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Rob said, I see there's a new Stephen King out, 31st. And no, Mike, not another Brexit joke. <laughs> yeah, there's a load coming out. There's a load of Stephen King stuff coming out now. Fucking loads. Really good if you're a Stephen King fan. They'll be doing the stand soon. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of Stephen King stuff coming out, actually. Same sort said, I've, uh, I'd have Mike pigging out on ribs. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Tommy Knockers was crap. Pete said, don't turn around now. You're not welcome. Don't turn around now. You're not welcome anymore. <coughs> what is that? I've just got to sing that in my head to get that right now. Pete, you're going to have to explain that one to me because I can sing that in my head, but I can't think of what it's from. Richard said, some special effects lawnmower man. I didn't like best Arnie film. Well, that depends. There's loads of good ones Commando, Predator, Terminator. <laughs> what one? That one. Purge is the best adaptation of Stephen King novel is The Running Man. Again, though, that's actually that's a very good film. Running Man's a very good film, but that's completely different to the book, the, the Richard Batman book, which is Stephen King. It's a very good film, but it's nothing, you know, it's a bit like The Shining. Stanley Kubrick's The Shining is a very good film, one of the best um horrors ever made. But it's actually a crap Stephen King adaptation because it's actually nothing like the book. Um, you know, if you... Shawshank Redemption is very good, yeah. What would be... Let me tell... I'll tell you what my... I don't know. Because there's some that aren't classed as that good, but I really like them. You know, I like The Stand and It. The original It. But they're they're like TV movies, but they're they 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 was done you know as good as they could at the time with the time they had and all that. Iron Man said best horror film goes to Shining, Stare of Echoes, Night on Elm Street. Slingshot said how much time is left? Forty minutes. Slingshot, forty minutes. Um, Weapons I said when I say worst Stephen King film, I mean the most boring to watch regardless of the book it's based on i don't know Liam. i'll have to look at my um boring to watch what one drags on a bit wow i'll tell you one of the worst fucking stephen king adaptations i've ever seen the new pet cemetery I don't know. See, a lot. The funny thing is, with a lot of Stephen King films, a lot of them don't have because because quite a few of his films are like low budget horrors. A lot of them aren't that sort of boring, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I would have to have a look. <laughs> no, but Gary Busey is in uh, Silver Bullet, isn't he? This is Stephen King film. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I said that before you um, mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dovetail my um, stream slingshot. Tactical Excalibur, showing its age, but still a classic. Yeah, Hercules in New York. Actually, I love that. That's great, um, Zed. Iron Man said, new films are mostly crap, but the Joker and Last Blood are good. And I said, it's a triple pack of Maximum Overdrive and Cat Size. Yeah, they're good. Um, but yeah, a lot of the Stephen King films are sort of, as I say... Hour, hour and a half horrors, so there's not that much. You know, you'd have to really fuck one of those up to make it boring. But if you want, Liam, after this, I'll get my um, hard drive on and I'll have a look because I've got a load more on there. Because as I said, I'll, I'll have, I'll get Steam King films even if I find them boring or shite. You know, those, those, them two there, whatever, fucking crap. But because they're Steam King based on Steam King things, I'll just collect them. Oh, yeah, that one's, yeah, it's called Trucks, Liam. Which I didn't think was terrible. I may I may be one of those, though, who's biased. I like things because I tend to like Stephen King stuff, even if it's a bit crap, because I just like the Stephen King stuff. And I like, I like watching it to see if there's references or see if, you know what I mean, um, see if Stephen King's in it, shit like that. So I may be slightly biased. They're probably worse than I say they are. So... Just that's probably one of the shortest films ever made. <laughs> but the first one, sometimes they come back is actually quite good. You get a lot of um, new films. Um, yeah, I don't know, Liam. He said, but why bother doing it again? I don't know. Richard said, worst Disney film. Sequels don't count because they're all shit. I don't know. Really. I don't really know a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, seeing as Max Mogo's Coke, Coke, Coke driven joyride, exactly. Well, that Max Mogo is actually the only thing he's ever directed. Most of the other stuff is all it's either based on his stories or he might be the producer or something or, you know what I mean? Well, that's that's screenplay by Stephen King, but you know what I mean. He, Maximum Overdrive, he actually wrote and directed that. But weirdly enough, Liam, this is the strange thing with Maximum Overdrive, written and directed by Stephen King, but not the same as the um, short story he wrote. I think Trucks supposedly is closer to the original story than Stephen King's own one. Here's, here's a couple of Stephen King things a lot of you might not have heard of. I've got some weird random ones that no one's, I don't I've, you know anyone's seen. Oh, what is that? There's some good shit out there. Like good, he does some good random stories, Stephen King, I think. So, Stephen King Storm of the Century. That was like a. Um, like mini series, but that's actually written. Yeah, that's actually written by Stephen King. Um, the Golden Years, which was a TV series, I can't remember how many episodes that was. That was hard to find. I could only find a foreign. Um, if you look at the writing on the back, it's all fucking um, foreign. That was hard to get on DVD. That was. One of my probably one of my favourite TV shows ever, Kingdom Hospital. That was good. That was. That's written by Stephen King as well. Um, and then this is another one. These are properly written by Stephen King. All these ones, Stephen King's Rose Red. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Liam. You would like um, Kingdom Hospital, and it's only one series, maybe twelve episodes or summer. So it's not a lot to watch. Nine hours altogether. Yeah. Oh. 
uh, perhaps I'm Stephen King's Stephen King dad in a snorts coat. Uh, what the, <laughs> what if this tro truck ran over the kids? <laughs> Uh, yeah, what well, I've, I've said, yeah, stinking now, orange man bad. Yeah, exactly. I've had to unfollow him on, on um, everything because I don't I don't want to get into people's politics. I like Stephen King. But uh, well, actually, I've unfollowed loads of fucking celebrities because I don't like their politics. I don't think they should get their politics. They shouldn't involve politics because it puts people off. No man's heart said, Mike, you could go one year without movies for a thousand pounds. Would I? Could I go one year without movies? A thousand pound. Don't know. A thousand pound, not a lot of money, is it? I reckon I could do it. I wouldn't enjoy it, though. Iron Man said, Storm Guy looks like the one in Prometheus. I don't... I don't know. I'm going to have a look for you. Oh, you mean, yeah, the, the alien thing, yeah. That's all right. That's not bad. Not, it's not brilliant, but it's worth a watch. Um, uh, weapons officers, I keep meaning to watch Kingdom Hospital. Well, Richard said, I found some movies you can only get on Region 1. Yeah, I've got a couple of like that, Rich, that are on Region 1. <clears throat> this might be Region 1, for all I know. I know it's not, but yeah. But some DVDs are hard to find, aren't they? Just occasionally. Yeah, well worth watching them. I think you would like um, Kingdom Hospital. Beat said, have you watched Helsing? It's the anime about vampires. No. Thing shot said, is there pecan pie in the UK? Yes, definitely, yep. Yeah. And Liam said, yep. Yeah. And then Nell said, yep. Yeah. Um, Webs said, yeah. It's like the actors. I like their ability to act, not to let Jimmy on Brexit Trump. Exactly. I keep having to fucking unfollow shitloads of fucking comedians, English comedians, because all they ever go on about is fucking Brexit. And you just fuck off, you know. I did not follow you <laughs> to hear you fucking spouting bullshit about fucking brexit because they're all the same though it's all anyone who voted brexit done uh you know vote leave done and all that you know the usual fucking bullshit it's unbelievable dad said pete i've watched some of it but got bored of it to be honest things that said um call him one of my favorite pies Nice one, ZZ, getting in on the old um, link sharing now. Thank you. My man said, um, thinks that we invented the US. <laughs> John Dots, right, mate? Yeah, so in 30 minutes, thing, shot, I'll go off. And then um, I will most probably join yours. <clears throat> so if anyone wants to join Slingshot's um, stream, let me just open his channel. Don't forget at the end of this stream, because quite a few of us went over last time. The only thing you got to remember, though, Slingshot, is um, you get the proper drunks then. <laughs> They're all coming in from the pub. Well, I'm sure you can handle it. But yeah, these are the quite I would class these ones as quite rare for Steam King films. Steam King, you know. But like I say, not all of them are, you know, not even a lot of them aren't even written by Steam King. Uh, what else have I got? I'll tell you what I have got up here, if you can hear me. I've got 11 22 63 that I've never even watched. Yeah, I'll get you a couple of good ones that I like. Um, where's that? You ever seen Rage Carry 2? That's not bad. Yeah, the sequel to Carry. Uh, stand by me. If you ain't seen that, you're missing out on a fucking treat there. <laughs> um, Graveyard Shift. You ever seen that? That's quite good. And the night flyer that's got one of my favorite actors in he's dead now though miguel ferreira 
That's it, Liam. Yeah, graveyard shift, quite a good one. The night flyers, all right. Nothing special, but you know they're not. None of them are like brilliant, but they're worth a watch, I think. And good, you know, bit good bit of like a standard horror, aren't they? You know what I mean? They're not like the best horror we've ever seen, but they're not shy. Things up said if Mike came to America, I'd introduce him to a barbecue beef ribs. Nice. Yeah, we have barbecue ribs here. I had some a couple of weeks ago. Oh, shit, K Cinema does loads of Stephen King films. <coughs> but, yeah, um, if if I've got a crap one, it would more likely be on my hard drive. Uh, but, yeah, you know, as I said, I think I'm slightly biased. Um if it wasn't Stephen King, some of them I would probably class as um, <laughs> a bit shitter than some of them are. Have you ever seen um, Sleepwalkers? That's that's all right. Sleepwalkers. <laughs> Things I said, but ours are bigger than when Lee said. That's what you Americans always say. <laughs> By the way, I'll be on till half ten, half eleven. So. What about this? Here's, here's an interesting one for you. This is worth a watch, I think. Now, people probably say this is crap, but this is nearly exactly the same as the book. What about that? You know, it's nowhere near as good as the, you know, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. It has got a... Uh, Rebecca De Mornay in there. <laughs> but yeah, this is closer. This is very close to the book. Yeah, the fucking heads of animals. Yeah, that's what I don't know about. Sleepwalkers. That's all right. Dad said to weapons off, he's probably right there. You might have growth hormone to get their cattle is dark. <laughs> oh, someone's messaged me. Um... Ah, that's all right. It's weird to get a message on um, Facebook at half nine. Weapons off said, yeah, it's a good joke, I know. About everything bigger in America, but don't want to say it in case YouTube punish me, punishes me for being offensive. <laughs> How many people are on? Because everyone's gone quiet. I'm out Barton said, Mike, look up dead porn stars. You don't want to knock off to a stiff. <laughs> it's just not polite. <laughs> One of them, that woman killed herself recently, didn't she? Cheers, Zed. A couple of years ago, August Ames. Because she'd... Um, oh, actually, I won't go into that, actually, because it, it turns into a completely different conversation. I could tell you why, and... To some people, we could have a normal conversation about it. Other people, it will turn into a weird, like, fucking weird discussion about things, so I won't bother. <clears throat> but yes, <laughs> you don't want to be knocking off to dead people, do you? Knocking one out to dead people. Tactical said, saw a video yesterday. 
A woman I watched just about lost her YouTube channel for copyright strike. She was in tears, lucky YouTube. Yeah, they can be right cunts for um <laughs> cheers, I right, man. Yeah, nice one. Um, yeah. We'll leave we'll leave that for a, a Twitch stream. <laughs> yeah, I got um the other last week I played about 30 seconds of a um song and I got um copyright strike and that stops me being at a stream potentially luckily it was the copyright strike where they just put an ad on and they don't care but sometimes you know certain things they can stop streaming it is mad isn't it it's all over a copyright strike which is fucking there's nothing <coughs> right you got about 20 minutes slingshot 20 minutes i just noticed my clock is five minutes wrong so i may have to change that battery I'm going to do that now while I remember. I keep looking at that and it's fucking wrong. I've got a battery in here as well. Yeah, it's nearly ten past and that's saying five past. I'm still here, by the way. What's it say now? Eight past ten. Oh shit, what did I put? I never put it to. Was it nine minutes past? It's better. Right, yeah, I'll do it. Close to the proper time. Yeah, funny thing is, I man, I saw that. If I if I if I could eat as much marmite as to be honest, I could buy some fucking I could buy marmite and try it. I just gotta not keep eating it every fucking day. Um I think that tastes alright. Did you know did you ever see when they used they used to do um Peanut butter and um, chocolate spread mixed in a jar at one point. Will said to Slingshot, get all your knives and Slingshots out for show and tell. And your first aid kits at the ready. Slingshot said, sure will. Oh, that'd be good. I right, look forward to that. So, yeah, you've got 20 minutes. <laughs> you've got 20 minutes to get ready. Weapons I've said, in America, Heinz do pre-made mixed ketchup and mayo. So it's not a thing here. That's weird. Saying that, I'll tell you why that's weird. It's not it's weird because I gave someone that for their um <laughs> dinner today. A bit of ketchup and mayonnaise. No, I just mentioned it, um, I man, because I thought it I remember when it came out and finding it very weird. Pre-mixed um because it wasn't mixed like properly as well. You could see this like they just swirled it around in streaks. Tactical said, saw your Apple accident video today. Must have missed that. Oh, what the fucking, that was, a, yeah. Do you only just sing that? Fuck's sake. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> the fuck, that was an April Fool's fucking joke. Me chuffing my fingers off. Well, I've said, but I'd love a pre made squeeze. But I know, I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a lot easy just to have it done. I've never actually had it. <laughs> Never thought of doing it, but my niece likes it for some reason. Will said, think there was a Milky Way chocolate spread once, but yeah. Dad said to weapons stuff, I bet it looks like the result of a particularly painful wank. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, Zed. Tim said, I saw that premix ketchup made for sale the other day. Can't remember what they call it now. And Liam said, the thing I love about mayo compared to ketchup, it's thicker texture. I like a bit of mayonnaise and I like a bit of ketchup, but I've never ever thought of mixing them together. No, so yeah, no. Isn't um isn't mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together technically um seafood sauce? I have done that. Why the fuck did I say I haven't done that? I've done that loads of fucking times. Yeah. Prawn cocktail sauce. That's weird. Why the fuck did I say it's it's not exactly prawn cocktail sauce, but it's very close to it, I think. And some people do it as a 
as like a substitute. Yeah, fucking hell. I've had fucking yes, yeah, of course I fucking have. Welcome to so some brands of homemade ketchup at restaurants are really nice like that. Nice and thick. <laughs> yeah, pizza prawn. Um, oh man said I ate a jar of Milky Way spread before fuck it. Well so I remember eating a fucking um sugar sandwich. <laughs> ah yeah. <laughs> One way trip to the dentist. I've done that. Um, when was I saying American gherkin, etc., tartar sauce? Yeah, exactly. Swing shots at these peanut butter and oh, <laughs> I'm a Spartan. Peanut butter and chocolate are awesome because it does IS. I wonder what he's getting at sometimes. I keep remembering what it is. I mean, he means I'm a Spartan. Tim said, Liam, look up Heinz saucy sauce. Talk to a Nutella, and he'll say more. Fun when you dry. <laughs> Oh gosh, like who fucking bought up food? Not that I care, but someone always fucking does, don't they? <laughs> Crylon, you right, mate? You ain't just come on. Right, in twenty minutes, I'm going off, but most of us will be going on to Slingshot Warriors um, stream. So if anyone wants to follow us there, there's the link to his channel. Tim said mayo rose sauce, mayo tomato puree, lemon. Liam Perrins. Iron Man says, anyone tried buttered baguette of hot chocolate? No. What, dipping it in it? Third says, I want an entire Christmas pudding in one sitting. It was amazing what I'd do for six months when I was a kid. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Put this shit back now. Nothing worse than packing up all this crap at the end of the fucking day. <laughs> Fuck, flip time. I'm gonna have to go on uh go on to my um <laughs> pump the shotgun, pump the shotgun, fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> uh, is that really fucking hell? Yeah, it's amazing. It's not very really long, is it? What was I gonna say? Um I can't remember now. Don't matter. All the important. Now we're going over to um Slingshot Warriors stream after this. JDR Survival, you lot would know he's my brother, wouldn't you? My twin brother. He said, Do I man's button? I tried peanut butter marmite. It's better than you it's better if you mix it yourself from two jars. And at Liam, the missus bought some saucy sauce, mayo up and catch you from Asdro Tesco's. Slingshot said on Thanksgiving we have a wafer banana wafer pudding. <laughs> I'm not spotted. The shotgun will never bump again. Rita said, I'll be off now. Getting something to eat before Slingshot stream starts. I know I've mentioned food. I'm ready to be spruced away. No, you want you, Rich. Dave's already, we've been on about it for the last 15 minutes. Luckily, I'm getting some food after this as well. So I wasn't bothered. <laughs> No, nah, I said it wouldn't bother me anymore anyway. But, you know, I'm planning on getting some food myself when this ends. So, yeah, slingshot, when this ends, give us all five minutes. <laughs> no, I'm leaving it up there, um, Peach. I'm glad it don't fucking pump anymore. <laughs> gives me excuse not gives me a truthful excuse to not have to go and get it. <coughs> Where, oh, I read that. A couple of people saying hello to Mark. That said that uh, to now actually I really did eat a whole one once. I couldn't move for an hour. Forty eight hours later I got shitting cold. <laughs> oh, God's sake. <coughs> 
<laughs> that was laughing, Dad. I love it. I want my sitting there for now as well. Of it. <laughs> <coughs> I'm the only one who eats it here. So I probably do eat the whole thing, but I just don't eat it in the same sitting. I'm pretty sure they buy a Christmas pudding every year purely for me because I moan that if we don't have a Christmas pudding, it's not like um, Christmas, and then I'm the only one who eats it. My man Spartans, he needs to make a number two like a boss. Go on, you have a nice enjoyable shit then, and we'll see you in about 15 minutes on our Sending Shots stream if you're on. <laughs> I don't crack the bar. What was you saying, Pete? It's nice brandy butter and cream. Oh, what? Um, Christmas pudding, yeah. I, th I think we've actually got some brandy butter or something still left over from last year. Probably still all right. It's not been opened or anything. Emails quickly. So, who's going over to Slingshots then? All right, Ethan, I'll say to you as well as you've only just got on. I'm going off in 10 minutes, but if you follow us to Slingshot Warriors channel, We'll be um, watching his stream in a minute. Pete said, I'm getting lazy, not doing my push ups every day. Fuck, why do I stop? I get like that. I get like that with healthy eating. You miss a couple of days and then it starts getting longer and longer and longer. And then suddenly there's been a month where you haven't been eating anything decent. All right, leave it 10 minutes. Leave it 10 minutes. Um, thanks. We'll be over soon. You're coming over now. All right, I'll see you on there. Zed said, peach, custard and cream on it for me. Uh, I'm a greedy bastard. <laughs> Tim said, he'll pop over. Mount said, last Christmas, Luke said he felt sad because I bought a Christmas pudding for one. <laughs> I'm the only one who eats it. That's it, isn't it? You know, if you're the only one who eats it, I was fucking, but that's what they do here. I'm the only one who eats it, but they do at least buy one for me. All right, Ethan. Good to see you on, though, mate. Yeah, I've been on since. Well, no wonder I come on. Quarter past nine. All right, slingshot. Yeah, go and cook your um your lunch, your, your dinner. All right, Pete's going to go and do 50 sit-ups. Uh, Push-ups, sorry, right now. <laughs> You have the energy at 20 past 11 on a Friday. <coughs> Tactical said, best bit of Christmas uh, was pudding and a bottle of baby sham. You know what? I've only ever had baby sham once when I was about 16. Um, hang on, I'm being put off by people writing things. All right, when I was about 16... Um, Ethan, the slow mode's on because I like to read every comment and it was too much for me to read. Uh, <coughs> about 16, I had some baby shaman. It was one of the nicest boozes I've ever drank, but I only had a sip of it. I've never had it ever again. When I said after the stream, I may, may do some weights to burn off some energy before bed. Yeah, sl it slowed down now, but yeah. <laughs> Even if I took it off, you know, it won't make any difference anyway. No, baby sham is champagne with something in it, in it. Like it's champagne. Um, 
I'm pretty sure champagne or something else in it, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to have to put the slow mode straight back on again now. Um, that said, where the fuck am I in the fucking chat? Weapons and I said, after a stream, I may do some weights to burn off some energy. Uh, to hopefully fall asleep in under four hours. Yeah. Well, I hope, yeah, for you, that would be a good thing, I think. Yeah. That said, I had some nice homemade pudding from my sister every year, much better than the ball. We used to get that off of our uncle, like my great uncle, my mum's uncle, basically. I used to love making um, loads of store stuff. And my nan actually saying that. Nell said, yes, tactical. Um, I still get the baby shamans. It was my mum's favourite, so I toast it to her. Nice one, Nell. <laughs> yeah, real babies. That's it. No, it's piss water. Snow forts are just shooting, just shooting video uploading now. Just finished shooting vid. Oh, what for the shooting competition? You mean snow fort? If that's what you mean, nice one. Even till I had some poteen moonshine. Yeah, we got some moonshine. Things up. So Liam seems like a proper prince in fairy tales. Carl says it's lagging on my end. Cry on check check on your screen if the bit that says live is red or grey. If it's grey, click it and it'll go to the live. You may just be behind a bit. Tim said I've been enjoying absolute rhubarb vodka. Well, that sounds interesting, yeah. Things that said po uh, moonshine is made of corn mass, poteen is made from potato mass. Oh, baby sham sparkling perry. What percent is baby sham? So six percent. That's probably what it tasted really nice then. Yeah, I remember fucking drinking that. It was lovely. Might have to get myself a bit of that one day. Now I said, uh, happened to me the other week. I was in, was in grey, so I was well behind. Yeah, it's an easy thing to do now. I just noticed what I've been watching was, yeah, click that bit, and if it goes to red, then you'll be back to normal then. Oh, Perry is made from pears, is it? All right, thing shot. Yeah, I'll definitely join you. Uh, give me five minutes to um, set myself up, clear up a little bit, maybe get some food. Um, I have written that stuff down, Zed. Whether I'll remember or not, I don't know. Half of them fucking things just get stuck, slung straight back in a fucking uh, pile of <laughs> um, things. Now, so I go up to my mum's grave and pull the baby sham over her. People look at me daft. But that's a common thing, though, isn't it? I've got relatives who do that for one of their sons who died. Yeah. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's a normal thing, though, isn't it, really, now? Dad said, I think I'll stick with the wine I drink, 11.5%. Yeah. I don't mind 11.5%, but I've, I found a weaker, a weaker, a weaker wine <coughs> is nicer. JDR said, we still got a jar of moonshine from Mick King. That's it. Well, that's what I mentioned. When I said we've got some, that's what I mean. We've still got some in the Wendy house, haven't we? Pete said, uh, you've got to get those pocket burners. I mean hand warmers, you showed me. <laughs> or am I going to get a pocket burner? No. I, I never really get cold hands. Nothing that a pocket won't sort out for me. <laughs> that sounds weird, but that's, you know. 
The only part of my body that I ever feel gets cold when I'm out and about is my inner thighs. Tactical said, let them know. You're doing it for your mum, not them. Respect. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Now says exactly that it makes me smart. Yeah, good on you now. No, no, nothing does it. Did we ever drink any of that moonshine, Mark? I don't think we ever did, didn't we? I've been tempted a couple of times. I'd be more likely to drink that if I was absolutely fucking um, like desperate for booze. But nowadays, because I've, I um, it's easier for me to get booze now. Plus, I'm making it after I'm on a. Tim said, "Are you on tomorrow?" I'm like, definitely, Tim. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow about um, nine o'clock. Yeah, well, not petrol, Pete. She said, "I bet me trying to have a petrol. It tastes more like um." Well, I don't know what you'd describe it as. But, you know, like pure alcohol. It's more like that than anything. It's dirty, though. But, yeah, as it, you know, it's more like burny than a... I mean, it ain't fucking pleasant not drinking it straight. Irishman. You know what, mate? We're going over to Slingshot Warriors stream in a minute if you want to come on there. He said, protein was traditionally made from oats. But yeah, really pure alcohol, basically. Piece. It tastes dirty, though. The one that Mick King gave us, I noticed, to me, that that smelt... I think we might have tried a little bit. That smelt more like an overproof rum, to me. You get these, like, 80% rums, you know, or what, would, what would be, like, 160 proof in America, rum. Um, or in this country, 80%. Um... Yeah, and it smelled like that to me, which is an instant put off. In you know, I fucking hate white rum. Here's the link if anyone wants it. Right, it's half eleven now. I'm going off now. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, went on to booze and food again at the end, but I'll um, I'll let you off because I did say you could. Um, it, thing is, there's no problem moaning about it because it always goes on to food and booze at the end, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> it's just I ended up getting pissed last Saturday because of it and then puking my guts up all day Sunday. Um, <laughs> but that went out because as soon as I say that, the thing is, if I say it to people don't talk about it, I'm sure people do it deliberately. Um, so yeah, uh. Right, I'm off. It's all good. Talk about whatever you want, though. But if you, you know, if you want to do me a favour, change the subject. Um, all right, Snowfall, what is that video for? The video you was on about? Right, I'll check it out in a minute. Hang on, I'm getting, um, wait a minute. Right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all who are going there over at Slingshot Warriors channel in a minute on his live stream. I might be a little bit late. Thank you for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. See you later. I'll be on tomorrow about 9 o'clock. See you later. Good night.